Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grunmar, Director of Public Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana. Thank you so much for tuning into our show. If you are a lover of soccer, like myself and my kids and my wife and everybody, we have soccer moms. Um, we've got a great event coming up on February the 4th at Tad Gormley Stadium. It's the first annual, truly, the first annual event of its kind, the Louisiana Fire Champions Cup. To talk about that and a whole bunch of things that are going on on uh, February the 4th. Uh, happy to be joined by Julio Paez, who's Director of Coaching and Player Development for the uh, Chicago Fire Juniors here in Louisiana. Thanks, Julio, for coming, buddy. Thank Good you for you. having us. Greatly appreciate it. Great. This, uh, this is really exciting. Obviously, the first of its kind requires probably a lot of work and a lot of first, uh, you know, lessons learned and all that, but tell us what we're talking about. We have the Chicago Fire uh, coming down to play Absolutely, Real España. Real España is uh, the team that the fire is going to be going up against. This is a fundraiser that our club, the Louisiana Fire Soccer Club, is putting together as a, uh, again, a fundraiser. Uh, and uh, we are very excited about the opportunity to have two professional teams of this kind in our own backyard. I don't recall, you know, in, in the short looking backwards, this type of caliber of professional players coming to New Orleans to play such a game. Is that true? We actually had uh, two Honduran teams that played last year. One game would, one game happened in, uh, in September, and I think there was one that happened in July. Uh, so from time to time, we get them. Uh, we are very much interested in making sure that we make it a top-notch event. Sure. And so along with the game, we have attached a festival wow. uh, to give it a, uh, an awesome environment. And, and to that point, the Chicago Fire, Chicago Fire Major, Major League Soccer team, I don't remember, Kermit, an MLS team coming to New Orleans uh, in recent memory either. So I think back uh, two, three years ago, we had back. a oh, okay. New England Revolution that was Excellent. here. Well, this is going to be great, everybody. As, as Julio said, there's a great uh, festival itinerary that they have, uh, basically starting at 11 o'clock. Now, it's going to be at Tad Gormley Stadium, which has got a great complex, a great place to have any kind of event, more so a soccer event. Great feel for that. Saturday, February the 4th from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., uh, more information, go to ChicagoFireJuniorsLouisiana.com. Uh, tell everybody what you can expect uh, outside of uh, a great uh, international atmosphere. You can have live music, food, beverages. Tell us about we it. Are, we're definitely very excited about the type of festival that we are putting together. It all will start at 11 a.m. We are going to have a DJ as well as a Rumba Buena, which is one of the uh, Latin bands in the city right now that uh, is really happening. We also have Cuban Poppy coming in to do some, uh, some Latin music as well. And then we have Dave Payton coming in from Europe uh, wow. to do a 45 minute show. He will be doing the main event that will happen at uh, 3.30. And then it all culminates, of course, uh, with the actual international soccer match beginning at five o'clock on Saturday. Absolutely, the match is for five o'clock and I also, I think it's important for everyone to know that uh, not only will we have music and American foods, Latin, Latin foods, we're also going to have, uh, create an environment for the young ones to have a good time. We're, we're having a rock climbing wall that's gonna be set up there. We're gonna have a, a juggling contest for the young ones. We're gonna have tennis, soccer. So uh, different events for different age groups uh, of players to hang out and have a good time with. And the, and the nice part about it, as uh, my, I myself, uh, a father who's, who's with Chicago Fire, my, my seven and my uh, eight-year-old are involved. You guys are going to be showcasing uh, two teams. Uh, one, Chicago Fire, the U10 group will be the girls, correct? Is that right? Absolutely. We actually we'll have be, some. We'll be playing Mandeville. That is correct. We have some preliminary games as well. We have two girls teams. Uh, we have uh, our U10 girls that will be playing Mandeville, as well as uh, two of our U12 teams that will be playing at uh, uh, those games will happen at 11.30, one at 12.30, and then we have an amateur match uh, that's going to happen at 1.30. And that's, that's what's really important because uh, what a wonderful stage you're, you're putting the, these young children on, young kids, I should say, uh, to be able to go play in front of a great crowd, people looking about, obviously showcasing the talent Chicago Fire here in Louisiana has, but also just soccer in general because uh, soccer is really catching on in, in, in Louisiana. Absolutely, it continues to grow in, our, in, our, uh, in Louisiana as well as in the metropolitan area. And uh, that is one of the reasons why we wanted to continue to promote soccer at the highest levels so our, our players could see what it's like and hopefully one day be able to have an MLS team here in, in, in New Orleans. Oh, that would be fantastic. And, and the nice part about this, uh, 
uh, having such an annual festival, the, obviously the intent is to raise money. So uh, if you look at the facilities you all have currently, uh, they are exceptional. But obviously there's always an opportunity to tweak and make it better. So the dollars raised with this will go to helping the club, improving facilities, et cetera. Absolutely. All the proceeds from this event are going to go towards our scholarship fund as well as uh, maintenance of our fields and continuing to identify high-level coaches. And the nice part about it, too, is I like just, just hearing the lineup and looking at it, as I said earlier, a very international feel to it. You're talking about the Latin foods. What kind of foods? You know, any restaurants or anybody you want to We have We on? have uh, restaurants right now that have jumped on board, uh, Coretta Grill. Uh, we have uh, Pollo Campero. Don't know if, if you guys oh, yeah, uh, have. Pollo I, Campero I has Florida just one time, yes. come on board, and uh, they are going to be here. They've just opened up their stores, and they're going to be with us. We're going to have Taqueria Corona and a few others that are going to be joining us. So uh, the, the Latin foods will definitely be there. One of the things that I definitely would like to mention is that uh, uh, the team coming in from Honduras, Real España, has a player that's very famous, a future legend of Honduras, Carlos Pavon, and uh, he is pretty much in his last days of soccer, and uh, the Honduran community is very much looking forward to uh, uh, seeing him play, and we are going to recognize him before the game uh, on behalf of all the Hondurans that live in the city. Oh, absolutely, and, and a huge, I think, Louisiana has the first or second largest Honduran population in this country. So uh, with that saying, they're probably just going to be going crazy. That is correct. From what I'm, I'm hearing right now, everybody out there is talking about the game. Everybody's talking about Carlos Pabon because one of the things that I've failed to mention so far is that there is going to be an autograph and picture uh, that's session. That's what I was going to ask you. I said, how, <laughs> what, what a way a chance to meet him, bring, bring your soccer ball or, or whatever you like to sign. There's going to be that opportunity. Absolutely. At 1130, from 1130 to 1245, there will be an autograph session as well as a, a picture session at the at the festival and from the fire you have famous players like uh, Pardo which is the Mexican international has played in two World Cups we have Papa which is the Guatemalan international the the upcoming player in Guatemala 23 years old right mm. now he is the, the Guatemalan sensation and they are with the fire obviously with uh, with Real España you have Carlos Pabon which is the player that everybody wants to see everybody wants to be around take a picture with and uh, he is going to be with us in a few days uh, that's gonna be fantastic and uh, everybody uh, online tickets are available tell us about the ticket prices and uh, is this a admission to the festival is the festival free but the admission to how does that work out absolutely that's a great question we wanted to make it affordable for all and so the festival as well as the international match will cost uh, is costing twenty dollars right now if you purchase them ahead of time yep. it, they will be twenty five dollars at the gate for adults and twelve dollars for children twelve and below and so for that uh, get you into the festival grounds absolutely everything for one price okay, again if, awesome. if you go and purchase your tickets now you can get them from the club you can get them from uh, if you go online to Chicago Fire Juniors Louisiana .com, we have 18 facilities in the city that are all selling tickets tickets can be purchased for twenty dollars right now and ten dollars for children if you choose to purchase your tickets the day of the event they will be twenty five dollars for adults and twelve for children we think it's a it's a slam dunk for everything that uh, their fa the families will be able to get. Yeah, and if you're just tuning in, we're talking about the uh, first annual Louisiana Fire Champions Cup Festival, Saturday, February 4th, 2012. Uh, festivities begin at 11 o'clock with the actual culmination of the uh, the international soccer match taking place from 5 to 7 p.m. A whole list of things going on. There will be uh, a lot of great food. There will be great beverages and, of course, great music. We were talking a little bit more about the autograph session for, play for players, which will be taking place at 1130 to about 1245. Uh, there will also be great opportunities for, for the kids. There will be um, juggling contests, rock climbing, and the inflatable jumpers, face painting. And, of course, if you want to watch, the young people, our young uh, rising stars in soccer, go out there and play. There will be a preliminary soccer matches at 11.30, 12.30, and 1.30. And, of course, uh, the big match itself. Uh, what is the capacity at uh, Tad Gormley? 26.5. 26.5. So, folks, we're not... We're not talking, uh, I mean, it's a significant stadium, but it's going to go quick. So just don't sit and wait like most people do in the world. I think I'll go do that today. Do it now. Order online. Get your tickets now. And um, 
and so you can just show it without any worry. Absolutely. We are looking forward to, to uh, this, uh, this event, and hopefully everyone from the soccer community will join us and uh, have a taste of what uh, international soccer is all about. Real quickly, uh, tell us a little bit about the actual program itself, uh, the Chicago Fire. How long has it been in existence in this community? Obviously, um, you've been able to expand recently. Tell us a little bit about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. The Louisiana Fire is a club that has been uh, uh, been around for many years and the way that it works is uh, two years ago uh, all the youth uh, competitive youth clubs in the area came together and uh, we decided to be one and so we went uh, we wanted to be attached to the highest level of soccer in America right. so we decided to go with the Chicago Fire we are the Louisiana Fire and uh, we have uh, we have players that are fr uh, from three years old all the way to 18 years old, boys and girls. It's uh, it's definitely uh, fun, affordable, and well organized. Mm -hmm. And I definitely uh, welcome uh, those that may be interested in in uh, having their children play soccer to go online and check out our website and see if it's something that may uh, uh, fit their lifestyle. And if Walter, we can put it up right now. We actually have a have an image right now of the actual Chicago Fire. Louisiana, I should say, the Louisiana Fire, which you go to Chicago Fire, JuniorsLouisiana.com. Here it is. If you're looking for more information, all, all is here in regards to registration teams and, of course, information regarding the uh, Louisiana Fire Champions Cup Festival coming up on February the 4th. Uh, Julio, best of luck to you, my friend, and to the entire staff. I know they've worked really hard on getting this together. It's going to be a great event, I'm sure, and uh, already looking forward to the second. But let's get this first one under our belt first, all right? Thank you guys for having us here, and, and I want to take a second to also uh, thank Cox for being one of our sponsors of this event, and uh, we're looking forward to making it first class for everyone in the soccer community. Awesome. Best of luck to you and all. Again, everybody go out on Saturday, February 4th, and catch some awesome soccer in Louisiana. All right, everybody, that wraps up this segment of Cox Connections. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.